So I'm Skyler. I'm a software engineer at Roboflow. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about some of the uh, the new functionality we added to be able to search data sets uh, semantically by images. Uh, that's going to help you troubleshoot your models uh, and find new images to augment your data set. Uh, so um, let's start with uh, understanding your data. Uh, so what this lets us, what, what uh, search by image does is it lets us find images semantically beyond just class, the class labels that are in a data set. Uh, under the hood, we use a model called clip uh, to map, uh, clip is a model that maps text and images kind of into the same vector space. Uh, so you can uh, search images, for example, uh, by using text or by using other images uh, and find images that are similar to each other. Uh, so. Under the hood, we every image that's uploaded to RoboFlow, uh, we run against the clip model and we store that. So it, it makes every image searchable. Um, what this does for you is it lets you explore patterns in your data set. So you can uncover uh, things when you're trying to troubleshoot, troubleshoot your model performance or your data set. Um, it also helps you identify gaps. So you can maybe find like missing object classes or underrepresented conditions, lighting conditions, for example. Uh, so we have a tool called RoboFlow Universe, and it's about half a million data sets and hundreds of millions of images. And these are uh, free to use in your own data sets uh, to use. You can use them to train your own models. Um, this will help you do things like add diversity. So uh, new environments, uh, lighting conditions, different perspectives of objects that you're trying to detect. Um, it also helps you fill gaps in object classes or challenging scenarios, like data that might be hard for you to collect. Somebody may have already done that work and uploaded it to RoboFlow Universe. Uh, today, we're going to be specifically looking at a couple of really big data sets that have a lot of useful images. Uh, one of them is Objects 365. There's about 1.8 million images there on RoboFlow Universe. And then Coco uh, has about 120,000 images of, of common things, common objects. So uh, what does this do for us? So it helps us improve our model performance. Uh, basically, the more images you have and the more diverse and relevant your images are in your data set, the better performing your model is going to be. Uh, so we we can use search by image and universe to improve the generalization of our models. So uh, models trained on diverse data sets perform better in real world settings. Uh, we can boost accuracy so we can in increase our MAP scores. Uh, and then we can also save a lot of time by uh, not having to label uh, do redundant data labeling or collect images that someone has already collected on Universe. So uh, on RoboFlow, we have a few different ways you can use semantic image search. Uh, one of them is you can search by using images that are already in your data set, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Uh, you can upload an image from your computer, and you can find images in a data set that are similar to that image. And then uh, thirdly, you can combine that with our existing search filters. Uh, to, which is pretty powerful. So I'm going to uh, switch over to our app and show you how this works. All right, so I have a workspace here with a project uh, for detecting different kinds of drinks, different kinds of beverage containers. So if we look at our data, we can see uh, we we have things like cups that we're trying to detect. Uh, we have things like water bottles. Let's see if we can find a good, uh... here we go. Here's a water bottle. Uh, there, you can see that there's this, uh, there's this little uh, button here next to each image when you hover over it in your data set. You can click on it and it will find similar images in your data set. So you can see it found all the water bottles just by searching for that image. Uh, and you can see that populated the, the search field up here with this like image query. Uh, this. This is a, a, a powerful advanced query language that we built uh, specifically to be able to understand your data set better, search and filter your data set. Uh, we call it RoboQL internally. Uh, you can click this how to search button and it'll take you to a documentation page where you can see uh, all the, the cool things that you can do with RoboQL. So today we're gonna specifically focus on semantic image search and how you can combine that with some of these queries to do really powerful things. Uh, so another example, let's say, uh, Let's say that I want to find uh, lattes. OK, so here are all of the lattes in my data set, or the images that are most similar to lattes. You can see uh, this doesn't 
filter out images. It just sorts the images in your data set that are most similar to that image. Uh, so I can combine this with other class filters. So I can say class up handle. Uh, and let's say I only want to see images that have, uh, let's say, greater than or equal to two cups labeled. OK, so here's all the images that are similar to that image with cups labeled. Uh, you can also upload arbitrary images. So I'm going to introduce RoboFlow Universe real quickly. Uh, so this, we have hundreds of millions of images and about a half a million data sets uh, and about 100,000 ready to go models. So you can you can search here to try to find data sets that are similar to what you're doing. And you can, you can use these data sets to either supplement your existing data set or you can start from one of these data sets and go from there to train your own models. Uh, so the data set, a uh, super useful data set I want to show off is Coco. Uh, so you can see Coco is kind of a, uh, a very general data set with a lot of different classes, things like backpacks, bananas, bears, benches. Uh, so there's another piece of uh, image search functionality here, search by image. I can click this button and I can upload an image I Can choose an image from my computer. And then it will find images in that data set that are similar to that image that I uploaded, which is really super interesting. So if I wanted to, uh, because I'm detecting beverages, I can, let's see, these all look pretty good. I'm going to add these to my data set. So I can go, I can select them all. I'll click clone. I will choose my data set and clone the images into my data set. Oh, this one looks like it didn't work. Uh, all right. So let's, let's try to solve a real problem with this. So I, I happen to know that my data set here has, or uh, when training a model has some issues uh, protect, detecting different sorts of uh, cans. So I, there's there's one kind of image that I know that it's struggling with. It's struggling with a kind of a top-down view of cans like this. So let's use search by image to see what's in my data set that looks like that right now. OK, so we have a few images of cans top down, uh, but it looks like it looks like we don't have any in the validation set. So we're not really uh, fine tuning our model on cans from a top down view. So let's let's verify that. So I can choose the split here. I'll choose valid. So we've combined this image search with the validation set. And you can see I don't really have any top down images of cans here. OK, so let's use uh, Objects 365. Objects 365 is similar to Coco. Uh, it has a lot of images of 1.8 million images. So you are you might be able to find something to supplement your data set in here. So I'm going to use Search by Image again. I'm going to choose this image of cans. And let's see. OK, it looks like there's quite a few that we can add to our data set here to supplement our data, improve our model. So I will pick. The ones that look the most relevant to what we're doing, I'll select them. Do select this one. This is a bottle tops. And then I will clone these into my drinks collection. There we go. So now if I go back to my data set, you can see I've got these uh, drink images that I've cloned into my data set. So I can go put these into. I, I can split them across my my uh, training test and validation sets to improve my model performance. Uh, so that is uh, search by image. If you want to learn more about this, uh, you can check out our documentation on our website. Uh, if you uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, you want to ask questions, uh, you you want to be a part of this. We do this every single Tuesday at eleven a.m. Eastern time. So if you want to join us for our webinar, uh, so that's search by image. Thanks a lot, everybody.